St. Stephen's Green is perhaps the quintessential urban experience of Dublin. As a garden square, it is unique in Europe for its size, and when it was first laid out, it was the largest public square in the world. Today, its popular park is surrounded by many fascinating buildings from various periods of Dublin's history, from the 17th century to the present day. The square began life in the 1660s and became a fashionable residential address and promenade. Some fine houses from the 18th century can still be seen on the square. By the 19th century, the square was becoming more commercial in character and the gardens at the centre of the square were falling into disrepair. In the 1870s, Sir Arthur Edward Guinness generously donated funds to landscape the square and opened the gardens to the public. Guinness gained the title Lord Ardalone and his statue in the park gazes west towards the family brewery. The Guinness townhouse on Stephen's Green, Ivy House, was donated to the state in the 1930s and is now home to the Department of Foreign Affairs. Lord Ardalone is thought to have played an active role in the design of the park, which is considered a masterpiece of Victorian era landscaping. Over the years, minor additions such as garden pavilions have been added, but in general, the park retains the character of the 19th century. The park is home to many fine examples of public sculpture, such as the Fusilier's Arch at the northwest corner, and a famine memorial by Edward Delaney. Many of the finest public buildings on Stephen's Green date from the 19th century. The Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, built in 1805, was to play a prominent part in the 1916 Rising, when Countess Markovich led a garrison stationed here. You can still see scars from bullets on the columns of the facade. The Shelbourne Hotel was built in 1865. The hotel and the neighbouring streets were to play a prominent role in Steven Soderbergh's movie Haywire. A statue of the revolutionary leader Theobald Wolfe Tone stands opposite the hotel. The vast townhouses of the Anglo-Irish aristocrats have found varying new uses. On the north side of the square, many of the houses have been in use as private clubs since the Victorian era, while Newman House on the south side was the original home of the Catholic University, which later became University College Dublin. James Joyce was a student here, and the poet Gerard Manley Hopkins was Professor of Greek. Today, St Stephen's Green is a much-loved enclave of Dublin City. It retains an air of elegance, along with a certain sense of excitement, which make it, for me, one of Dublin's most satisfying public places. <laughs>